you guys hey 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 i'm back with another video you already know what's about to go down we're gonna do another fashion finesse it's gonna be super easy you really don't need a sewing machine but if you do have one that's good let's get it so yeah i'm just basically making marks where i'm going to make my cut i'm doing an upside down t and that is how i'm gonna make my cut i'm cutting straight across the top and also through the first layer of my top so you really should have something like this and because i'm i want this this is where i'm gonna put my eyelids i wanted to have a clean finished look so i decided to do a fold hem on both sides you just want to pin and sew so you really should have something like this that is where i'm going to put my eyelids and you just want to make sure you're using the right size of eyelids it really doesn't matter but you want to make sure it fits and it works um i bought mine at hobby lobby so yeah they fit perfectly so now it's time to sew okay so i'm just doing a zigzag stitch all the way down and this is just going to give it a, the clean finish look that I'm looking for. So you should have something like this. Now we're going to um, pin the bottom. So I'm just doing a fold hem all the way around like I did before. And then we're just going to pin that. Okay, you should have something like this. Time to sew. Doing a zigzag stitch all the way around. And that is how it looks. Super easy and simple, you guys, but you don't need a sewing machine. Now it's time to add the eyelets. I went ahead and marked where I'm going to put my eyelets because it just made it easier. And I'm using my seam ripper to make a tiny hole. Tiny hole. Because you don't want to make it too big because your eyelets are just going to fall right through. The smaller the hole, the better. Even if you have to, you know, force it in there, that's still good. So, yeah, now you just want to add your eyelets. And I'm using the eyelet puncher. I don't know the exact term, but I call it my eyelet puncher because that's what I use it for punch eyelets so yeah i'm just pushing that down to make sure my eyelets are secure and that is how it looks and it's in now we're just going to add it to the rest so you should have something like this okay now for the thread and chain part you can use whatever type of chains that you want to use um i made the black one but this the gold and the silver one i got from um walmart in the jewelry section section so you can use whatever you want to do and this is like lacing up your shoes so you're going to be doing like the crisscrossy cross cross method make sure your chains are even you know so get it even and then start doing your little crisscrossy cross cross method whatever works for you you want to do whatever you want to do okay and you're all done so this is the before born and after super cute and simple you guys like so easy to make like i said you don't even need a sewing machine for this you could do it without one so yeah and that is all i have for you guys today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time peace